Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today we're on the website of French Auction Portal and Tranchere and we're going to have a look at an auction by Suman Auctioneers. So this is a new auction house to us. It looks like they've got this small auction, 162 lots, which is kind of uh, record players, some musical instruments and some photography stuff. In reality, there's only about 34 or so musical instruments, but they look kind of interesting. So as I always say, sometimes it's good to look at some of the small auctions as well. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to blitz through it. This is not going to be a long video at all, but we'll just see what's going on. This particular auction is finishing on the 19th of October. It is the 9th today, so we've got a little while left to go. So that is good. Time to have a look at it. 21%, uh, that's the buyer's premium. So that's what you pay on top of the final hammer price. Um, if you do uh, decide that you want to bid on something and you're from outside of France or outside of Europe, then bear in mind uh, import export fees, maybe CITES restrictions as well, all of that kind of fun stuff because it is a French auction. So I'll put a link in the description as always so you can check it out yourself. And without further ado, I think let's just crack on and see what we've got. And just to say, if you do enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing, like or comment because it really does help. So let's see what do we have here lots of record players we're on page two already because there's nothing other than record players on page one so we can ignore that so straight into page two you can see records and things like that we have a violin a french full-size violin by didlo um it says it has some oxidation marks on the table you can see that something funny is going on there for sure let's see how many pictures we've got 11 pictures so that's pretty good does look fairly kind of standard French kind of instrument. It's a bow there as well. And there you have it, 800 to 1,000 euros. So that's your first uh, item here. Right, a 19th century violin, three quarters. Grand Jean, the father. Lovely work of fine violin making. Looks like it's got saying parasites, so I think that means worm. 50 to 80 euros. Let's have a look. See what else we can see here. It's got a stamp for Grand Jean Pair. And that is kind of all we can see. We can't see the back. Potentially interesting, but not very many pictures, sadly. But uh, still, 50 to 80 is not unreasonable. Right, a children's violin, half size companion. A uh, companion is like the lowest tier of or one of the lowest tiers of French violins that were kind of churned out and a bow there nothing too crazy I don't think got another bow here Louis Bazin perhaps viola bow okay so they don't really know be interesting to see what the weight is clearly the frog is a bit damaged so one of those bows that you really need to Inspect, I think, first before you bid. Right, another violin labelled Companion. Children's, three quarters. Once again, like I said, this is a low tier of French violin. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, I suppose. That's uh, another bow there as well, which I think is probably not super amazing either, but eight, 80 to 100 euros, not too bad. We've got a, a bugle here. Inscription Maison 1812, Pelisson, Guinot and Blanchon. Paris. Okay, it looks like it's had a bit of a potentially hard life. We've got a Coleman three piston trumpet in its case. 30 to 50 euros. So it actually looks in fairly good condition. Not too bad. Let's see what else we've got here. We're on to page three now. So we've got another violin here. Double purfling violin labelled Niccolo Amati, 1836, French reproduction, early 20th century, worm eaten near the chin rest. Okay, 358, length of back. Marked with an iron mark on the tailpiece, Mochant Royer Luthier of Mircor. Okay, that's a great picture there of the label. Okay, interesting varnish there at the back. Uh, could be worse, but wow, 1,200 to 1,500 euros. That seems uh, heartily optimistic there, uh, but you, know, you never know, maybe. Maybe that is something, but uh, I'm a bit sceptical of that. Anyway, an aphilicide with the inscription 
Halari factor of the king's house. Okay, interesting. We don't see these filicides too often, so that's pretty cool. Sixty to eighty, that pretty be pretty cool. I'd have one on my uh, on my wall. <laughs> Uh, it's a little kind of classical guitar there of not really anything th super interesting. Some drums here. Some ceramic uh, drums here. And a Darbuka, 20 to 30 euros there. A whole load of various musical instruments. Clarinet, transverse flute, African wind instruments. Okay, it's a bit of a collection there, 30 to 50. I'm sure that will be of interest to someone. Let's see what else we've got here. Carved and lacquered wooden xylophone with a pair of sticks from Indonesia. This is pretty cool. Yeah, I like that 30 to 15. That is quite cool. Tizoni Stradella accordion. Got a record player there that we can ignore. A Thibaville Lamy Ebony Transverse Flute in case. Incomplete. 20 to 30 euros. That's fair. Classical Spanish guitar there. And a Levin 12 string made in Sweden. Okay, 30 to 50. That's uh, pretty pretty cheap to be honest for uh, 11. Yeah, nice. Probably quite a nice 12 string. That's a, I think definitely worth more than 30 to 50. Whole load of accordions. So let's see what else is here. And some sheet music holders. Interesting. Cousineau Paris transverse flute there. Interesting tuning fork in a case. Wooden trans uh, transverse flute, JTL. 50 to 80 on that. Another violin, Guarnerius violin. Okay, 1932 apparently, Mircor Manufacturing. I see four to 500 euros there. Not uh, super exciting to me, but uh, may be exciting to someone. Hard to say. Bow there at the front. Pernambuco bow signed wreck. Good bow mounted. Yeah, it actually does look like it is probably quite a nice bow of a lower kind of tier. We have more violins. Mirkor, 1950s, three quarter with the Abiel Wood Bow, 100 150, seems a bit high. Violin, 357 length of back. Okay, Mirko E. Coiffier. Okay, it needs a bit of uh, TLC, this one. 200 to 250. Another violin here. 2 to 250. Mirkor violin, 1920s with a Goffrilla label. Nothing super exciting there, 200 to 250. Well, quite a lot of violins here. Right, violin, 352. Andres Borelli, so another Mirkor violin there. Definitely needs a bit of uh, work. Bow looks actually like fairly interesting, although there's not that many pictures, so kind of is a fairly interesting looking bow that. So it'd be good to see more pictures of that. Um what we've got here? Cello bow. It's getting hard to say what's going on here with those pictures. JGL children's violin there with a bow some of these can be quite nice these JJ ones this one not so nice I don't think I think we're coming towards the end now right an Henri Selma 80 super action series 2 saxophone in case I think as I said before almost every auction has one of these Selma saxophones uh, every time and once again here's another one 1800 to 2000 so always one of these appears the Neapolitan mandolin here. So, inscription JP on the table. Restored mandolin, Girona Workshop, Mirkor, 1996. 
just looks pretty standard to me 50 to 80 is probably about the absolute maximum set of various musical instruments you've got some kind of early fiddles and some more kind of other of those type of instruments from other parts of the world there so a few bows and things so that's a curious lot for the end 20 to 30 think all the other stuff is just photography equipment so there you go yeah super small little auction nothing really crazy or interesting to be quite honest um a few kind of oddities but as i always say it's good to look at these auctions and you never know what you might find so in this case not a lot but uh, sometimes you do get uh, some interesting things so i think with uh, that in mind we're gonna kind of move on uh so yeah thanks a lot for watching really appreciate it uh check out the link in the description look at it yourself see what you think and i'll catch you next time ciao